Let's work this ACT math question that comes from the December 2021 test. It's question number 58. And it says that the sides of an acute triangle measure 17 centimeters, 16 centimeters, and 15 centimeters, respectively. The measure of the smallest angle of the triangle is a solution for A to which of the following equations? So I want to first sketch out an acute triangle and I'm given these measures of 17, 16, and 15. And it tells me that the measure of the smallest angle, which I know is going to correspond to the one opposite of 15, is a solution for A to which of the following equations. So that's going to make A be that angle there. So what I'm going to be looking for, first of all, is for the left-hand side is going to be equal to this 15 squared. So I already know it's going to be either D or E. When I'm looking at my answer choices, I know that this is going to, this looks like, especially with an acute triangle, it's going to be the law of cosines. And that is a formula that hopefully I can remember what I'm going to look for here is I know if we're doing this opposite of A, that means we're going to be looking for cosine of A. And so that 15 squared is what we're equal to on the left-hand side, like we said. And what I want to do is it's this equation is just equal to the other two sides squared and summed, 16 squared plus 17 squared minus 2 of the other times the other two sides cosine of a which is my unknown and that corresponds to answer choice e so to be able to answer this question remember this is a question number 58 it's near the end of the test so it's probably going to be a more challenging question like i had mentioned earlier from the answer choices you if you've had any kind of trigonometry or even in your geometry classes you have seen the law of cosines, and that's one of our longer equations, formulas that we would have to memorize. If you have it memorized, that's great, and it'll make that even easier. But in a case like this, it sort of helps you walk through these, these, this formula from the answer choices. You've just got to keep straight, are we law of cosine, law of sines? And anytime we're dealing with a non-right triangle, we can use this law of cosine and law of sines. In this case, when we have the three side lengths, we're able to solve for an unknown angle. Because I was given that this was an acute triangle, this was another thing that I was able to fill in some information, that the measure of the smallest angle, which is A, it's going to always be the smallest angle is opposite the smallest side length. And also in turn, the largest angle is opposite the largest side length. So that's an important thing to keep in mind and remember for this question and possibly for other questions that you may have dealing with geometry and angles, that sort of thing. So to get some more practice on a question like this, you need to make sure that you understand the topics of law of cosines, acute triangles, and in general, a triangle and the relationship of angles and their side lengths. This is your math question of the day. We have lots more videos to help you prepare for the math section of the ACT. Subscribe so you'll get our next practice. Until then, practice a bit more on your own, and when you take the test, you'll be glad that you did.